What you say, people? Back with the bang. This is the money management. It's Saturday. You guys know what that means. That means it's the weekend. And what happens on the weekend? The weekend is where winners are made. The weekend is where empires are built. Now, of course, I know that most of you guys, you know, if you have a nine to five or you're in doing online classes or you're in school or working, something like that, you had your Monday to Friday, you were busy, and now it's Saturday, you want to kick back, relax, chill, enjoy yourself. Now, all of that makes sense. And of course, you know, I'd advise you to do that. But how about thinking about this today? If you really want to become a winner, and not, not just talking short term, talking long term as well, use your weekends wisely. The more time you spend on something, the better you get. The better you get, the more you get paid. The more you get paid, the more freedom you can have. And the more freedom you can have, the less you have to spend time worrying about chilling and relaxing only on the weekends. So, for those of you who like to, you know, draw, like to have fun, like to, you know, whatever it may be, this is the time to spend more time on something which you can eventually monetize, something which can eventually bring you freedom, bring you less stress, have you, you know, f freely enjoying your weekends without having to worry that it's the weekend. Think about all the people in the world who, you know, live each and every day like it's the same. Their Wednesday is the same as their Saturday, their Sunday is the same as their Monday, their Tuesday is the same as their Thursday. That's how I want you guys to live. That's how I want to live. And why do I say that? Well, because a lot of us spend time, or at least, you know, have spent time thinking, oh no, it's, you know, it's Sunday night. That means tomorrow I'm going back to work. It's Monday. You know, Tuesday comes around. I can't wait for Friday. We've all heard it before. We've all seen it before. We've all done it ourselves. I can guarantee you that. But like I said, now is the weekend. So if you don't want to, you know, live for two days of each and every week, start spending your weekends wisely. And what do I mean when I say spend your weekends wisely? Well, like I clearly explained, you spend time getting better at something, learning something new, improving your skills at something, you know, doing something which is going to benefit you long term. You spend time doing that. Guess what? Eventually, no matter what happens, the more you're going to get paid. When you can, you know, do better than other people in the same industry, when you can shine, when you can show what you're made of, show what you're capable of, you're going to get paid better in the long run. Now, once you start getting paid, you get more money, guess what eventually starts to happen? You start becoming, you know, more in control of your time. You start to free up your time. And guess what? That means you're getting closer and closer to freedom. So what is the good thing about freedom? What's so great about freedom? Well, the more freedom you have, the more you get to have a nice life, the more you get to enjoy yourself, the less you care that is the weekend. So the reason I say that all of these things are important is because, you know, it starts off small, just using your weekends wisely. You know, your Saturday and Sunday, where you've got maybe eight to 10 hours to yourself. Use three or four of those hours, you know, to do something which is gonna benefit you long term. Like I said, learn something new, spend time on something, improve your craft. You know, I've talked about this in, in the past. It can be copywriting, it can be graphic design, it can be videography, it can be photography, it can be something simple as learning how to send emails. I'm not saying you have to go and start a business today. You don't have to do that. But if you want to do that, I definitely recommend it. But spend your time, you know, improving your craft, being wise with it. Because these weekends that you use, not just during this pandemic, but you know, obviously, especially during this pandemic, not only that, throughout the future, they're gonna determine how much freedom you have long term. You don't wanna work till you're 60, 65 before you say, okay, now I'm gonna spend, you know, 10, 20, 30 years of enjoying myself. I don't think that's a good idea. But what you do wanna do is say, you know, I'm 30, I'm 40, I've got, you know, three or four days each and every week where I can do what I want. You know, I'm 50, I've got every single day where I can do what I want. That's the kind of levels you can get to. You know, if you're being ambitious, if you're being more optimistic, you might say, okay, by the time I'm 35, I wanna retire. Have, you know, rental income, you know, coming in, stock dividends coming in, you know, passive income from different angles. You might wanna have all that coming in. But, you know, if you're in your 20s, if you're 18, if you're, you know, even in your 30s, spend your time wise during the weekends. Because again, it's gonna determine what happens to you long term. We all have goals, we all have dreams, we all have targets, we all have ambition. Not all of us wanna be stuck doing something we don't wanna do every single week for five days from seven. That doesn't make sense. We all want freedom. There's a reason why, you know, those of you who hate your job, don't enjoy going to work, don't enjoy going to school, don't enjoy taking on classes, there's a reason you don't like it. Because you don't find it fun, you know, you, you wouldn't do it in your free time, you wouldn't do it if there was no money involved, you wouldn't do it if, you know, money wasn't revolving around it in some form. So when you do have the free time to do what you do want to do, what you enjoy doing, spend that time wisely. You can, you know, relax, watch movies, sit back and watch some Netflix, catch up on your series, catch up on the news, whatever you may do. You can do that. But at the same time, you can spend a couple hours, a few hours, just doing something new, learning something new, learning something which is going to benefit you long term. I keep saying that it's going to benefit you long term because you've got to think about the long term perspective. Think about the long term picture, the bigger picture. Not always short term, not always short term happiness. It's that delayed gratification that I love talking about. It is so unbelievably important because, you know, you guys know, those of you who are trying to lose weight, Let's say you want to sit down on the couch, eat a pizza. 
You know you haven't ran today, you know you haven't been to the gym today. When you get up and you go and do that stuff that you're supposed to do, you feel a lot better afterwards. It's the same when you use your weekends wisely. You feel a lot better afterwards. Five years down the line, ten years down the line. You know it, right in the moment you don't enjoy it. You might not, you know, want to do it, but you know it's gonna benefit you. So why not do that? Is it better to live, you know, two to five years being miserable and then you know having 20, 30, 40 years to enjoy yourself and be free? Or is it better to live I don't know, for two days each and every week and then be visible five days each and every week for five years, 10 years, 20 years straight. You've got to think of the bigger picture as always. Everybody has what they want to accomplish. Everybody has those targets. But if you don't work on them, you don't you know, go along with your plan, you're not going to get there. We all have a goal and like I say, we might not reach that goal, but we have a journey to take. We have a path to go down. And if we go down that path, we try different things, we're going to come across obstacles, we're going to come across times where we don't want to do stuff. But you remember, at the end of the day, you're going to get the freedom you want, the money you want, the time you want, being able to travel, being able to do what you want, when you want, not having to listen to other people, not having to rely on other people, not having to wait for other people to do something for you. Everybody is in control of their own life. If you, you know, not where you want to be right now, you're not at the place you, want, you thought you'd be five years ago, guess what? It is your fault. So it's up to you to make a change. No one's going to change it for you. No one else is in control of it. You might think because you have a boss at work, you know, they can tell you what to do. That is true. But if you have the money, if you have, you know, spent your time wisely, if you've built up something else, you can eventually become your own boss. You can eventually become your own person. Same for those of you who are in school, who are, you know, in high school, college, university, whatever it may be. You guys, you know, have teachers who tell you to do this and that. That's fine. You've got to do it if you want to pass, you know, and become your own person. That's fine. I understand that. You've got to do that if you want to pass your classes, you know, so you can graduate, those sort of things. That makes perfect sense. But you know the feeling when you don't like someone telling you to do something, you don't like deadlines, you don't like having to do something for other people just because they said it? Well then, that means go and spend time doing your own thing, building your own craft, learning your own skills, using your weekends wisely, so eventually you don't have to do that anymore, you don't have to live that life anymore. Use that feeling that you didn't like, the feeling of you know being hurt, being disrespected, whatever it may be for you. Each and every person has their own individual situation. But use that feeling to fuel you forward. Use that feeling to think, I don't want to feel like I did, you know, on that Sunday night when my boss told me tomorrow you've got to be in Monday super early. I don't like that feeling when my teacher told me, you know, this essay was horrible, you've got to do better, you've got to redo it. I don't like whatever feeling it may be. Use that to fuel you forward. Use that so you push yourself towards your goals, towards your dreams. And again, I'm going to say it, like I said at the beginning of the video, use your weekends wisely. Build something new, build something up, something that you can st sustain long term, something that can eventually bring you the time you want, bring you the money you want, and most importantly, bring you the freedom you want. When you get to that stage, guess what? The best thing happens. You won't have to worry about it being weekend. You won't have to worry about, you know, oh, when is it Friday? When is it weekend yet? Oh no, I have to go back in school tomorrow. Oh no, it's work tomorrow again. I have to sit in traffic, whatever it may be. I'm telling you, the best thing is, you know, I say use your weekends wisely, but also use those hours that you're at home during the pandemic wisely. It's the same thing right now. You know, once quarantine is finished, lockdown is over, yes, then, you know, it's gonna be purely, you know, focus on the weekends. You know, I'll give you guys a little bit of leeway, you know, coming back from your nine to five, you might be tired sometimes, I'll give you that. Weekends, you don't have any excuse. So hopefully you guys use these tips to improve yourself, not only today, but weekends going forward. Every single weekend counts. Every single hour counts. You know, you probably sleep eight to 10 hours, that's fine. You have another 12, 14 hours to do what you wanna do. Now make sure you use that time wisely. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Make sure you guys leave me a like, show me some feedback, you know, with that, whether that's comments, whether that's likes. Hopefully you guys subscribe if you're new around here, click that red button. Also, like I always tell you, go check out my smartwatch brand, Tango Watches, link is in the description. For those of you who are new around here, we have a lot of links in the description as well. There's cryptocurrency, there's affiliate marketing, my social media, we've got all sorts of stuff going on there. Make sure you guys are back here tomorrow for another video, and most importantly, use your weekend wisely. So that's it, ladies and guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I've got money making, you've got money making. See you guys tomorrow for another video. Peace.